was a uh, uh, we recognized uh, Congresswoman Luistro as the next interpolator. And uh, with that, uh, I'd like to uh, recognize her for uh, her interpolation. And uh, Congresswoman Luistro, you have 10 minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I wish to direct my question to the former president. Mr. President, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. President. First of all, I wish to acknowledge your courage in taking full responsibility, full legal responsibility to all the victims of war on drugs, both legal and illegal, as you have mentioned, Mr. President. Hindi ko na kontrolado kasi mami. And Mr. President, I wish to manifest that it is my humble opinion that one will not take legal responsibility unless there is no willingness as well to admit being behind all the killing incidents that transpired during the war on drugs. It is therefore the humble submission of this representation, Mr. Chair, that with that statement coming from the former president, he acknowledges that all the killing incidents during the war on drugs spring from his order to kill drug personalities. That is a manifestation, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I understand that the resource speaker, the former president, is a lawyer. Mr. President, may I request that you educate the Filipino people. And I am certain that you understand what conspiracy theory is all about. Please educate us, Mr. President. I may have some lapses already, but uh, I will give you the definition of uh, the conspiracy to commit a crime when two or more persons uh, decide uh, or discuss to commit a crime and actually do it, more or less ganon ang takbo ng ano. Thank you, Mr. President. And you will agree with me, Mr. President, that under the conspiracy theory, mayroon pong tatlong klase ng principal. One is principal by inducement. Two is principal by indispensable cooperation. And three, principal by direct participation. Being a long-time prosecutor, Mr. President, can you please enlighten us on this? Well, uh, one is a uh, yung induce. It could be uh, uh, an inducement could be uh, money usually, or uh, inducement by a woman to a man to kill the, her husband so that they can live forever, happily, ever after. Or uh, a group of persons, uh, a syndicato, lahat, what is illegal, gambling, smuggling, uh, these are the, uh, they are the conspirators of crime. So you have explained, Mr. President, principle by inducement. It could be money, it could be an order by a person of influence over another. How about principle by direct participation, Mr. President? It, uh, you actually, you actually agree with uh, one another to commit the crime when you participate. Thank you. And 
How about principle by indispensable cooperation? Well, uh, it's in the sense that, uh, for example, if there is no way of uh, traveling from one place to another, and you are the only person who, who can provide the transportation a vehicle, and that is would be indispensable cooperation. Without the vehicle, you cannot uh, uh, commit the crime. Thank you, Mr. President, for enlightening us. Going back to your statement that you are taking full legal responsibility to all the victims of war on drugs, both legal and illegal. It is my humble submission, Mr. Chair, that the former president can be considered liable for all these crimes under the theory of conspiracy by being a principal by inducement. I wish to manifest, Mr. Chair, that without the order, without the reward, these police operatives should not have resulted to killing a huge number of victims of war on drugs. I to disagree with your premise, ma'am. I understand, Mr. President, but that is a manifestation. Yes, sir. Uh, but you Thank know, you, what he's supposed to do his duty. He, has, he goes to school for two years. He uh, receives instructions to how to go about his duty. And uh, we have to give the presumption of regular, regularity. That's a principle, uh, principle of law. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, for every time na may ginawa kaya, in your favor is a principle of regularity. Presumption of regularity of, of performance of official duty, Mr. President. Thank you for your enlightenment. Mr. President, I wish to ask, with all due respect, considering your statement of taking full legal responsibility, both to legal and illegal activities. Can well, I equate this statement of yours to an extrajudicial confession of kill? Well, in a sense, yes. Wala na ako magawa eh. Are you saying yes, Mr. President? Yes, because I ordered the campaign against the drug uh, uh, syndicate. At kung anong ginawa nila, whether illegal or not, it was ako ang nag -utos. In that sense, I take that responsibility of their actions. Wala akong magawa eh. Commander ako, nag -utos ako. Puntahan ninyo yan. Eh, just like a commander. Or do that military, police, iutosan mo. Pag may nangyari dyan, magkabulyaso, whether right or wrong, Iyo yan. Iyo talaga yan. Kung hindi ka naman bobo na mayor, hindi mo iwanan yung tao na inutusan mo. Unless, yung pumunta doon, inutusan mo mag-operate ng illegal gambling o druga, tapos nag-rape, kung anong ginagawa na kabalastugan, uh, ako na mismo ang papatay, hindi na kailangan ng hintay mo pa. Mr. President, earlier, you conform to my statement that I can equate your statement of taking full legal responsibility as an extrajudicial confession of guilt. You said yes to that. Yeah. In the, no, I'm in just the, reiterating the, the question, it, Mr. It, President. It's not, it's not about guilt or a wrong. What I'm saying is that yung lahat ng inutosan ko yung war against drugs, yung isang platoon dyan, isang batalyon, kung ano yung ginagawa nila, kaya I take full responsibility for that. Mr. President, you are surrounded by, I believe, four lawyers. Hindi ko na kailangan, ma'am. Because you are a lawyer yourself. I can take of myself. I can take care of myself. And of course, you understand the 
elements of an extrajudicial confession. Yes. You confirm that you are of sound mind. And not only that, but body. Yes. As well. You confirm that your statement is voluntary. Yes. And of course, you confirm that you understand the consequences of your extrajudicial confession. I understand, Mr. President. That's why we call it extrajudicial confession. It is not a confession. It is the statement coming from the mouth of a mayor or a president at that time. It is not a confession. You are characterizing the Malik, ma'am. The do only one... Do not characterize that as your wrong. Mr. President, Palisian. the only one that is missing among these elements is that it should be in writing. A what? And my question will be, Will you be willing to translate into writing the statement that you earlier said? But of course you have a lawyers to help and assist you prepare this written document. It's documented. By the records here. Magtanong na kayo ng magtanong. Ano? Anong gusto mong tanong yan? Criminal? Mr. President, I wish to proceed to, the, to my next question. Do you know Laod Firing Range? Do you know? Alam niyo po ba yung Laod Firing Range? So... Hindi, hindi. Do you know? Nalalaman niyo po ba kung ano o oh, saan yung Laod Firing Range? Doon ako napapractice mo magbarel para umatay ng tao. Thank you. Nagpra-practice po kayo po oh, oh. para pumatay ng tao. Oh, oh. And alam niyo din po ba yung Laod Quarry? Uh, hindi ko na negosyo yun, ma'am. Ayun Firing range, huh? But at least you are aware that Laud Firing Range is situated in the Laud Quarry, within the premises and compound of Laud Quarry. Within the premises of a quarry, there is a firing range. Do you confirm that, Mr. President? That should be the question. Do you know Ben Laud? Yes. I think so. Who is Ben Laud? He's a policeman. He's a policeman. He owns the land. He owns the land. Where the firing range is located. And do you remember, Mr. President, that the CHR, during the time of the former chairman, Laila de Lima, investigated and inspected this Laud quarry, where they were able to discover human bones. Are you aware of that? Sino ma? Who, this, who, who investigated? Panahon po ni Chairman Laila De Lima sa so, Commission on Human Rights. Sorry, I do not know her. Nag-imbestiga po ang CHR to go sa extrajudicial killing hmm. kung saan nakadiscovery po ang taga CHR na mga buto ng katawan ng tao. Kayo po ba ay aware dito? I am aware of only one bone. Dala-dala ni... Sino yung sinabi mo? Binato CHR ka? forward chairwoman, Laila De Lima. Is there any... Isa lang po. And you are aware also that the former DOJ Secretary, Vitaliano Aguirre, represented Ben Laud in the investigation of the extrajudicial case, extrajudicial killing. What, do I know about the investigation? Or if you are aware, Aguirre? Mr. President. Yes, uh, Aguirre is my 
Are you associated? Of course, you are associated to Vitaliano Aguirre as a master of fact. my contemporary. And during your time, you appointed him even as the DOJ secretary. Tama po ba? Yes. He was bright. During that time, Mr. President, you were the mayor. Tama po? Mayor no, of the no, Mao City. No, 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 no. I cannot appoint a secretary. Hindi ako, mayor lang ako po. So, it has to be... Now, let me rephrase my question, Mr. Somebody President. Somebody else's job, not mine. During the time... Oh, when these extrajudicial killings happened, you were the mayor? Tama po ba yun? Well, not only during my time as mayor. Uh, Was there any point in time, Mr. President, na pinaimbestigahan niyo po itong mga buto ng tao na nakita sa Laud Quarry? Dala nga ni Senor, si... Hindi yung nag-investigat doon. The CHR, Mr. President. Oh, si CHR. Kayo po ba yung nagpa-investiga? Even during your time as mayor or during your time as president, pinaimbestigahan niyo po ba itong mga buto na nakita sa Laud Quarry? Uh, bakit ako mag-investiga ng mga buto dyan? Maraming buto ng... Any investigation? Mr. President, I will proceed to the next question. On December 31, 2004, nag-conduct po ng raid ang PDEA 11, headed by Superintendent Wilkins Villanueva, joined by some operatives of PDEA Manila National Headquarter. Anim po yung Chinese na napatay. But in addition to this Chinese, a certain SPO4, Val Carillo, apprehended Alan Singh along with 10 other companions. Based on the affidavit of Mr. Lascañas, Mr. President, you ordered the killing of Mr. Alan Singh along with the 10 other companions. That is not true. That is the job of the police. Hindi ko trabaho magpatay mo. There are two important observations in his affidavit, Mr. President. Ang sabi po niya dito, si Alan C. ay nag-offer ng 200 million for the release of the two chemists and another 100 million for the remaining eight personalities. But when he tried to seek your permission, you refused and you even said, madami kayong intel funds. Totoo yan. Kung bribery siguro yan. Hindi ko never in my... Are you confirming, Mr. President, that during this time, Las Cañas and Sunny Buenaventura sought your permission whether to release Alan C. and the 10 others in exchange of the 200 million plus 100 million? Kasi ano malaking pera yan, man. Ito totoo yan. You are denying it, Mr. President. Of course. But do you confirm that when you refused this offer, you even told Sunny Buenaventura and Arturo Las Cañas that you have ample intel funds, so you don't need those bribes, if you call it bribe? I do not remember uh, making a statement like that. But uh, money for operations against crime, malaki ang funding ng Davao City. Another important observation, Mr. President, these 11 personalities were asked as to the whereabouts of their passport. Alan C. said that his passport was taken by the operatives, while the 10 others, ang sabi po nila, hawak ng employer nila. And the employer was named as Michael Young. What can you say about this? Nothing to do with it. Wala akong pakialam dyan. Hindi ako nakikialam ng mga passport. Mr. President, to conclude the question about this Dumoy raid, this is the raid of the Bidea which happened in Davao, Shabu Laboratory on December 31, 2004. 
where six Chinese personalities were killed during the raid, and the 11 others were brought to Laud Quarry, where they were summarily executed and buried upon your order, according to the testimony of Arturo Las Cañas. Do not believe Arturo Las Cañas. Let me proceed to the next question, Mr. President. In 1993, Mr. President, binomba po itong St. Peter's Cathedral in Davao City where seven died. Naalala niyo po ba ito? And according to Arturo Las Cañas, what was my education in 1993, Binomba po ang St. Peter's Cathedral, Davao City, where seven died. Nalala niyo po ba ito, Mr. President? Simbahan, ma'am? Opo, St. Peter's Cathedral in Davao yes, City. At sangayon po kay Arturo Las Cañas, kayo ay galit na galit sa pangyayaring ito. Sinong hindi magalit, ma'am? At dahil po sa inyong mahigpit na galit, ay inorderan nyo po itong sinalas kanyas na bombahin ang mga moske kasama po ang Kamamara Mosque at Bancorehan Mosque. What can you say about this? It's crazy, ma'am. Do you know that uh, my mother is a Muslim? That's an idiot uh, statement. In other words, you are denying. Of course. Mr. President, let me proceed to June Pala. Sino po si June Pala? Well, he was a broadcaster. He's a broadcaster who used to criticize you during his programs. Tama po ba? Everybody. Pati ako, tama yan. Trabaho niya yan. And according to the testimony of Arturo Las Cañas, you ordered the killing of June Pala. Niwala kayo Las Cañas. Lahat na nung doon participation ng crime niya, kanya. There's a pattern, you know. Look at the pattern of the crimes. Kanya lahat ng ano. Do you believe that as a policeman? Would I? Would I? Kanina po, Mr. President, I started my interpellation with acknowledging your courage in taking full legal responsibility to all the victims of war on drugs, and you said both legal and illegal. The reasons why I ask about La Quarry, where human bones were found, the reason why I ask about the Dumoy raid, where 11 Chinese personalities were summarily brought and killed to Laud Quarry. The reason about why I asked about the mosque bombing and the killing of Jun Pala is I wanted to substantiate the courage that I saw on you when you initially expressed taking full legal responsibility to all the victims of war on drugs, both legal and illegal, according to you. You are said substantiate? Yes, Mr. President. Where's your proof? Mr. President, I'm anchoring my questions about the separate incidents from your initial statement that you are taking full legal responsibility yes. to all the victims of war on drugs. You said both legal and illegal. Yes. Mr. President, you are a long-time prosecutor, correct? correct? And of course, it is very fundamental <coughs> upon us, all lawyers, 
the requirements of due process. We are zeroing in on the particular individual now. Due process is the law which hears before it condemns. Due process is the law which requires notice and hearing. If you say so. Mr. President, I hope that we will be reminded that by due process, the end does not justify the means. Kanina po, tinanong din po kayo ni Honorable Prosas about the number of the victims of war on drugs. Tinanong po kayo about statistics and you lamented na hindi nyo po alam or dala yung records. Now, I want to share to the public the statistics of the victims of war on drugs. Well, we are, uh, Mr. President, this is from PIDEA. I think this is a consolidated effort of Karapatan, Global Witness, National Union of Journalists of the Philippines, the Supreme Court, Rappler, and the Philippine Drug and Enforcement Agency. We have 6,252 individuals in police anti-drug operations as of May 2022. 27,000 to 30,000 individuals, including those killed vigilant style. 427 activists, human rights defenders, C21. Land and environment defenders as of December 2020, 166. Journalists, media workers as of April 2022, 23 victims. Judges, lawyers, prosecutors as of December 2021, 66 victims. And mayors, vice mayors as of December 2021, 28 victims, Mr. President. Mr. President, my question is, when you implement war on drugs, did you strictly comply with the requirement of due process? Yes. Mr. Chair, I will wrap up. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Chair, it is my humble submission that contrary to the answer of the former president, I humbly believe that the former president and his war on drugs never complied with the requirements of due process. The statistics show, Mr. President, the huge number of victims of war on drugs. If my memory serves me right, during the time of Aquino administration, there are like around 200, and during the present administration, there are around like 200 victims as well of war on drugs. Given this statistics, Mr. Chair, this is almost or around 31,000 victims of war on drugs if indeed they follow the requirement of due process. Wala po dapat ganito karaming patay at ang dapat maraming kaso na pending in court. I hope all of us will be reminded by the fundamental law that no person should be deprived of life, liberty, and property without due process of law. By Mr. President's own admission of his accountability, both to legal and illegal actions of the police, it is the humble submission of this representation, Mr. Chair, that the Quadcom is ready to make a recommendation for the filing of the necessary action in court. That is a violation of the law, RA 9851, Act Defining and Penalizing Crimes Against International Humanitarian Law, or at the very least, the murder cases as defined under the Revised Penal Code. To finally conclude, Mr. Chair, last series of questions to Mr. President, again to substantiate the courage that he was able to show during the initial part of this hearing. Mr. President, in the past hearing of Quadcom, 
May tatlo pong Chinese drug lords na napatay sa Davao Penal Colony. Are you willing to take accountability and responsibility also for this? Wala na ako yan, ma'am. Nag-date on ako sa Manila. So, you are saying no? Oh, well, kung gusto mo isala yan, idagdag mo na, okay lang. How about the death of General Barayuga, the PSCSO Secretary? Are you willing to take full legal responsibility no, for this? No, I do not, I do not kill generals. The death of Mayor Aldong Parohinog and the 15 others in Osamis City. Are you taking full responsibility on this? The death of Mayor Espinosa of Albuera Leyte. Leyte. Are you taking full responsibility on this? That's my birthplace. The death of Tony Halili in Tanawan City. The death of Mayor Perez of Los Baños. Ibalik ko po dun sa una niyong sinabi. If you are denying all this, alin po yung tinutukoy niyo when you said you are taking full legal responsibility to all the victims of war and drugs, both legal and illegal? Yes. Kasi, order po kasi yung, that was my campaign against drugs. Na yung, alam mo, maraming istasyon, maraming police. Kung kung nagka-letse-letse doon, eh, bu, hindi ka maghugas ng kabay. Dapat sabihin mo, oh, a akin dyan, kasi nag of course, nagkamali sila. Now, if there is an appropriate action na gusto ninyong uh, ilabas, then file the case in court. Wala nung pili, matagal na yan yung sabi, extrajudicial, extrajudicial killing. I am challenging anybody or everybody who makes the accusation, whether it is really true or not, maybe true, file the case in court because may court de tayo. And even if you admit na totoo yan, you have to go to court because I will make the admission there again. Are you saying, Mr. President, that when we you go to court, you're willing to admit also your accountability for all the deaths during the war on drugs? Ay, uh, of course, uh, may, may abogado man ako, ma'am. Kung anong sabihin ng abogado ko, sunod ako. I hope that everything that you said before the court can be reduced in writing so that truly we can believe that you're taking full legal responsibility to all the victims of war on drugs, both legal and illegal, because as lawyers we believe that by extrajudicial confession, we have to put that in writing, Mr. President. I order the campaign against drugs. It's a, it's a policy of a government or of the president. Hindi ako maghugas ng kamay. Hindi ako sabi hindi, hindi kasi yung department yan. Eh, akin yun. Mr. President, last question. If one of these days the ICC will come, will you voluntarily submit yourself? Si Pael ko pa sila man. But you said a while ago that if somebody will sponsor your fare to the ICC, you will voluntarily submit yourself to their investigation and jurisdiction. Yes. Pero kung sila magpunta dito si Pael ko, but will you confirm that you are willing to submit oh. voluntarily yourself to ICC? I have nothing further, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, uh, Congresswoman uh, Luistro. Next, to interpolate.